From all the crazy 360 AAOs that we had so far on the channel, including one 420, it's time to get back to 240. Now, right here we have the Gamdias Xion M3240W, which stands for white, as you can see right here. And uh, we're going to check out how it works in terms of placing it on the same processor as we did with the past 360 models. And it's going to be quite interesting because so far I haven't used a 240 on an AMD Ryzen next generation processor. And really curious what the performance will be. How will it perform in terms of not the thermals because we already know that part. But to see the clock speeds, to see the Cinebench scores and everything else. And I'm going to try to bring you more information on that part as detailed as possible. Right, so right now we have the Xion M3240W, which is a all-in-one CPU liquid cooler with a 240 radiator and two 120 millimeter fans. It supports addressable RGB connection when we're talking about connecting it to your motherboard and all the other stuff when it comes to controlling it through the motherboard software, which includes Asus or Sync, MSI Mystic Lights, um, Gigabyte RGB Fusion, Astrock Polychron Sync, and uh, others. Oh yeah, BIOS are Vivid uh, LED DJ. So yeah, there's that. But some uh, features that you need to know. So <laughs> that's the one. The second one is a durable Teflon tube with a static nylon branding tube sleeve. As you can see, it pairs up with the radiator and fans in white. It is compatible with the GameDS Iolus uh, addressable RGB control box that supports 30 different lightning effects. Now, the dimensions of the fans are 120 x 120 x 25 millimeters, and the speed goes from 800 to 2000 RPMs. The CFM is quite interesting because I'm seeing a number going above 70, so we have 70.2 CFM, 2.7 millimeter H2O, and the noise level is 10 to 31 decibel, which also depends on the RPMs. Radiator and the pump, uh, the pump is four pins, so it's PWM. We have the radiator dimensions 277 times 119 times 27, so we have a bit thicker radiator. Inside the box, we got Loads of screws, loads of uh, springs, uh, loads of uh, locking mechanisms and stuff like that. Uh, eight long screws for the fans to attach them to the radiator. Eight short screws to attach the radiator to your PC. And that's basically it. There's nothing left to say except I'm really curious how the block uh, also shines when you turn on the uh, lights, of course. And of course, for the Instagram, we're going to do a peel on that one just for the sake of the ASMR. So, guys, enough with the talk. Let's place it in a build and uh, check out those scores. To be honest, I didn't want to leave the RGB Madness uh, inside this build. I wanted to go with uh, white static color as I do with uh, certain builds. But then again, this was the last I was recording with the B-roll, so yeah, it doesn't matter. So the thing is, placing the Gamdias uh, Xion M3 240 white is a bit um, interesting. Let's put it that way. It's a bit interesting. And uh, what can I say about it? So first of all, if you're placing the Xion on the... AM5 or AM4 motherboard, you have to remove those plastic bits, plastic uh, standoffs, uh, from the original backplate on your AMD motherboard. And after that, you have to place the spring screws on the pump block top. Now, this is the interesting part because, first of all, you do have to somehow hold the backplate and then attach the part on the top. So, my advice lay down the case, put something behind the back plates so it's held at the exact position so you can access the threads from the back plate and then attach the uh, block pump top. That's it. That's the easiest way you can do. The only thing that uh, I would say is, um, let's say a bit negative, but it's not that drastical, is the application of the thermal paste. So you don't get it in the standard tube, you get it in some sort of a... Uh, 
bag foil whatever and you need to spread it because it doesn't you can't create a pea size top as I've, I had to do it so th those are the two things that you need to take care of while placing the Gamdia Xion M3240W. Now, when we're talking about performance, now I'm quite surprised because we're talking about 240 and it did perform quite nicely. So let me tell you something. We have the MD Ryzen 9 7900X and of course I don't expect it to outperform a 360 radiator AIO. In Ada 64 Extreme Edition, as per usual, and what I do, the standard CPU, FPU, system cache and memory, uh, the temperature went up to 91 degrees Celsius. So it is uh, two to three degrees more than with a 360 radiator. The clock speeds went up to 5,250 megahertz, which is 50 megahertz less than on 360 AAO. And the RPMs were of course on 100%. Now that's quite solid. I do have to say. Now, when we go to Cinebench R23, I ran tests one after each other uh, to get some sort of a consistency yet to pull out the scores, stuff like that. It doesn't make any sense to place a 10 minute uh, benchmark because I won't get individual scores for each of those. So 10 tests in all of those 91 degrees Celsius and the clock speed went up to 5175. Quite solid, I would say, that with the 360, the uh, Ryzen 9 7900X went to 5200 megahertz. So, for instance, if we remove the benchmarks, eventually the scores get better and better. Of course, as I stated in the past video, it won't go into infinity, uh, giving you better results, but the results are there and it does perform quite nicely. So comparing it to the past AIO that I did with a 360 radiator, it uh, did perform quite nice. We have 200 points, Cinebench points less with a 240 than with a 360. But then again, you would expect even more than that. So I would say that 20, the peak 28,777 compared to the 28,947-ish or something like that, and with the clock speeds, it's quite good. And I have literally nothing to actually say negative about it. Basically, the only thing that you need to take care of is when you connect everything, the pump goes full blast, 100%. So since I have an SROC board right here, I went to BIOS, fantastic tuning. It adjusted the RPMs of the fans. It adjusted uh, the RPM of the pump. It is dead silent and that's really great. So for instance, if you're running a smaller case, a smaller build, I would suggest this one without a doubt. Or if you want to pair it up with the Gamdias uh, case, it's all up to you, of course, because they do perform quite nicely. And if for some reason you're on a budget, this one actually goes into that into that same bucket. So it's uh, quite uh, cool and I'm quite impressed. I do have to say, I can't deny that with the, all the benchmarks I did, that uh, it would be something different. You still have loads of cables. You still have to connect everything individually. The good thing, the fans have a five volts addressable RGB splitter. So you can connect the pump and the fans all together at one addressable RGB header on your motherboard and you get a splitter for your fans for the PWM connection. So basically you need two PWM connections on your motherboard, one for the pump and one for those two 120 millimeter fans. All in all, as already stated, Gamdias Xion M3240W AAO for your CPU is quite solid choice, I would say, and a bit of a surprise. I didn't expect it to have such good performance with 240, but hey, I'm here to be surprised as well as you are. And this is why I do these benchmarks to give you some insights and to give you a choice basically to choose if you want to buy something or not. So yeah, there's that. But as per usual, I'll put the link in the description for this AIO right here. So you can check out the price and eventually some specs if I might have missed something. As per usual, again, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and uh, click the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. Hopefully I will see you in that video as well. 
Stay tuned. Bye bye.